Off the first major railroad merger in more than two decades, one that will link the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, has been approved by federal regulators. The news is a big disappointment for suburban mayors who have been fighting against the merger for several months. Elizabeth Matthews is live with some reaction for us. Elizabeth. Yeah, guys, they said that they knew it was going to be an uphill battle. And while they are disappointed, they're not exactly surprised. The rail traffic here in Itasca and so many other communities is about to get a whole lot worse. A group of local city leaders in DuPage County have been fighting this merger between Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern Railroads. The group says they will continue that fight. Federal regulators say the proposal was properly vetted and will create the only single line railway linking Canada, the U.S. and Mexico. The coalition to stop CPKC says the National Surface Trans Transportation Board just approved a 400% increase in freight, tra freight rail traffic in communities. Places like Bensonville, Itasca, and Elgin will go from at least three freight trains a day to 11, maybe even 18 freight trains a day. Not to mention the trains are expected to be two miles long, some carrying hazardous materials through densely populated areas. That would greatly increase the time spent responding to emergencies across the tracks. A run that would simply be a minute and 20 seconds away from our firehouse with no train blocking it currently. If we took an alternative route, it would take us 14 minutes to arrive on that scene. In 14 minutes, that's three times the amount of brain cells that would be dead. Resuscitation would be nearly impossible, if not impossible. A house fire would double in size. There, of course, is also concern about derailments and potential environmental disasters like we saw last month in Ohio. On these tracks here in Itasca and along all these communities, there's obviously these freight trains to worry about, but there's also Metro trains. They, tr they share these tracks. Metro says that they, too, were opposing this merger, and now they are concerned about how the increase of rail traffic will continue to concern their operations. Live in Itasca, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.